See, that's one of the things I've had to work on since joining Chad is uh, actually taking a look in the morning before I leave yeah. the house as to whether or not I should shave. Now, right. I still don't shave every day. No. Because it's just not my thing. Yeah, but you're one of the lucky ones. I it's am. It's one of those things that just tie up time. It's exactly like having to right. put makeup on. That's why I shave my head. Well, I do that still. You shave what? your head? Okay. <laughs> well, I was going to We both did that same thing at the same time. Said, what? Let's just stop. Now, in all seriousness, uh, what about when you go to like... I don't know, run or work out or grocery mm -hmm. store or go to the movies or something. Like, yeah. do you have to always look like Carrie Doll yeah, on where, television? Where do you do those like, things, by the way? Could you? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Stop being so creepy. I'm sorry. Is that what's happening? This, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but do you always have to be sort of on? You know, that's, that's a great question. And I've never, um, off the air, yes, I'm very cognizant of the fact that I am still Carrie Doll from CTV News and I have to be respectful of that connection. But in the terms of the way I look, no, I go to the gym, people see me with no makeup on, I have a baseball cap on, I am who I am, and I've always been very comfortable with that. And people inevitably will judge, but it's them judging. It's not my problem, it's their problem if they're going to judge me because I don't have the full makeup and hair on. You know, I try to be pulled together when I'm going out or, or whatnot if I'm traveling, but when I'm going grocery shopping with my kids or working out, meh. Like, it's just, who needs it? But we have, uh, it just strikes me that for a, a female news anchor in the day and age of Twitter, there's yes. probably nobody that knows better than you how vain our society can be sometimes. Oh, yes. Uh, it, it, uh, people will judge you for anything and everything, and that's probably one of the most difficult parts about this job. You have to develop a really thick skin. And <coughs> I'm not, I, I, we were talking about this um, during the commercial break and saying about the biggest challenge I came across in my career was after I had my second baby. Um, I was at home, lost the baby weight, and then decided to lose a few more pounds that I'd been packing around for far too many years. And it's much easier when you're off work. You can work out more. You can really be watching what you're eating because you're not sitting all day. This job is the downfall. You're always sitting all day, mm -hmm. right? So decided to do that. And then I had to get braces put on my teeth at the same time. And I decided to get those clear ones, not Invisalign, the, the ones that are glued to your teeth because maybe it wouldn't be so noticeable when I came back on the air. The problem was my face changed from the weight loss and then I had these braces that were pushing my lips out and I know I look different but I didn't realize how much until I started to get emails going, <laughs> I cannot believe you had all of that plastic surgery done oh to your face. Oh my goodness. Yes, and uh, the, most, the, the hardest one was a gentleman who wrote in and said, you've always been an inspiration to my daughter and a role model, we'll never watch you again because we cannot believe that you underwent so much plastic surgery. Yeah. People are wow. Man, they're paying attention, aren't they? Don't mm -hmm. get Dan wound up on this topic. Yeah, oh. Hey, we're going to take a break here. When we come back, uh, we're talking with Carrie Dahl from CTV. Want to uh, talk to you not only about uh, some of the highlights from your career, but mm -hmm. where your career is going next, because you're not retiring altogether. No.